Hey all for Space Gamers, it's Steam Gaming Universe here, and today we're doing a review on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One. This is the first review that we've done in a while, but in total this is our third one, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, also, this might be the shortest review that we have yet, so it's sorry about that. It's just something to put out so that you guys are we're ready. not behind, we're up to date. Well, we kind of well, are also, behind. There's not too much content that's talkable in this game. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about for this review is the campaign mode. The first mission is actually cool. It gets you engaged. Mm -hmm. And it's it's interesting how they incorporate things that you'll use on later in the game. And also, this is a bit like Advanced Warfare, which is kind of like a red flag sort of. The graphics kind of yeah, I, it is Call of Duty, but if you're trying to be better, you should do something better rather than just the same thing. Yeah, kind of. however, Black Ops 3 did execute the whole and nano suit or whatever you want to call it, exoskeleton suit better yeah. than yeah. the robotic suit. Yeah, uh, because they had cooler abilities and you could do more stuff with them while in Advanced Warfare, you it could wasn't like, jump. Yeah, jump. <laughs> we could jump higher. But still, I hope this doesn't become like too big of a trend. But um, first mission was good. I thought the story was entertaining. The first mission had robots in it. Yeah, so that was cool. Yeah, it was um, part. It got you engaged and the ending's a bit weird. The ending does it the ending doesn't really tell you like what the happens. end doesn't really tell you what happens in the end. Yeah, so that's pretty cool how that worked. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is multiplayer, and straight away we should be talking about the lag. Uh, yeah, well, it might be your internet connection, and it might just be the game, because <laughs> it goes um, up to a 12 match, which is like every other game, but it gets way more laggy because the map is bigger, and there's like more stuff added onto it than the other games. Well, I just think that it lags because there's so many people online. Like uh, Cool Amazing Gamer said, there's like up to 12 people, but it's still a lot of people online at once. And, the and it's a big map, and there's multiple maps, so it's kind of hard to like yeah. not lag. So it's just, and also too, if it does lag, it'll say like, uh, like connection, connection interrupted. interrupted, and it'll show like this needle thing, and it it's shows like, a wire. Really, really laggy. And then also, uh, the maps are actually pretty good for the most part. So some maps are really embraceive and they have cool little secrets that you could find inside of them. But others are just, they aren't really good. I yeah, some of them are just like, annoying. they seem like they had all the maps that they wanted ready and then they needed some extra ones just to throw in and they just did like, added some quick things and just put it out there. Yeah, the, some maps are just like, they just don't feel right. They're not all that. But yeah. I will give them credit because the quality is really good. Like, it's in HD, which looks really good. I'm pretty sure it's 60 frames per second, which is really, really uh, clear and fast. But, like, it looks really realistic. Like, they're actually there. And also, let's talk about the specialists. Oh, that's something that... that yeah. That's the specialists, they The specialists are actually really good. The powers that they give them, and the abilities. Um, let me see, how many specialists are there? There's about There's a, seven. Yeah, I'd say about seven and eight. Seven so, or eight of them. But, and they all have unique abilities. And but you us. you need to level up to get each character. Yeah. Because you can't just be that character. Because if everybody wanted their character, it'd be a free for all. And you can also customize that specialist. So there's a lot of choices for you in the game, which is good, but it also could be a bit But it's kind of based on the level. Yeah, yeah, the armor is based on like different colors and different... So, next thing that we're going to talk about for this review is zombies. And uh, they had a whole new look for zombies. Yeah. Uh, now it looks like it's from the 50s, and it looks pretty cool. I enjoy it a lot. There's three different characters to it, though. There's, right? Four. Three or four? Four. I think I'm... 
pretty sure this was four. three oh, okay. boys and one girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there's and three. And the characters, no, if it's you're doing four. Oh, okay. two players or more at once on the zombies, here's an example of one of the characters. Yeah, that's, um, one, that's one of the boys, of course. Every time, if you're doing two players or more on the same console, every time you die and reset, uh, the characters will change. So you might not be the same person that you left off from. As sometimes. The sometimes they just give you the same character. Yeah. And also, the characters are actually interesting. And before the game actually begins, the first time you play it, they actually kill somebody, like an innocent person, mm -hmm. yeah. which is odd. So they're not good people. And, and also the mention, this is hard. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. It is really difficult because... You're in like an alleyway, and, it's and small. there's windows that are broken or rows that are blocked off, but there's like wood panels holding everything up, and so uh, the zombies try to knock it down, and you have to keep rebuilding it, and if they knock it down, then they get to escape, and so they can kill you easily. Yeah, and then next is Nightmares, which is the story mode of, of the zombies. Yeah, like, sort of. of. Yeah. yeah, it takes place in between like the... A main campaign. It's a, it's, it's a bit confusing. It's a, a bit confusing, yeah. Yeah, I don't really get about. it. <coughs> but if you but, play it, you'll get it, of course. Yeah, and uh, it was fun in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning it was fun and easy. It was it was new. It, it was, was something different. different. Was yeah. Different, yeah, and then it turned into like zombie spawning zombie spawn missions everywhere, like, like in campaigns. Everything you did was just yeah, it zombies was zombie. Everywhere. It's missions from the main campaign. With a different character and zombies. It wasn't... And it started getting annoying and stuff. So, you know, it, uh, that, it's, the nightmares wasn't so good. Yeah. Uh, but, still fun in the beginning, though. So. Yeah, it was good in the beginning. Also, it can lag as much as to where as you can't continue the mission. So, yeah. So, that's it for the review. Uh, is it worth buying a console for? No, no. Definitely not. Not like other games that we've reviewed so far. But... It's still a pretty good game overall. I give it an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. And I give it an 8. Yeah, it's still a really good game. You should buy it. Check yeah. it out. Yeah. But uh, not worth buying a console for. So, that will be it. Yeah. Thank you all for Thank watching. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. See you next time.